Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I'm very excited for two reasons. Number one, I think I got the screen capture audio problem fixed so I can start covering stuff like major layoffs reported at Amazon and Comixology. I'll probably do that tomorrow. And number two is uh, Will Jordan, the critical drinker, he did a community post reminding people that he has a comic which is available on the First Kill graphic novel Indiegogo campaign. It's called A New Kind of War. This is the art from it right here. So that's available as part of the uh, Hard Drinker 3-pack or the Critical Drinker bundle, which is the Rambo First Kill graphic novel along with Will Jordan's comic book about Troutman. So there was a huge jump in sales today. You know, it's like several thousand dollars. So that's awesome. So um, go check it out. Link is in the description. So there's been massive disinformation over the last few years. And one of the ways they would do it is they would say, well, um, yeah, a lot of stores are closing, but more stores are opening. And isn't that great? This is an industry where nobody knows how many stores there are, which is insane. We don't know the sales. We don't know how many stores there are. Like, it's like, this is a, a, an industry that cannot be quantified. To me, that makes it not really an industry. So you get these blandly titled, two more comic stores close, three more comic stores open. Except for I spent four minutes researching the stores. So Stormcrow Comics and Rick's Comic City are either closed or closing. Stormcrow has already closed, so you can see it here. This is what I would call, quote, a real comic book shop in that I think they get new comics every week. So I think this is probably the new floppies here, the new trade paperbacks here. And uh, I had to go to MapQuest. <laughs> Since it's already closed down, um, I couldn't find the hours, but it was open every day except for Sunday for eight hours a day. That to me is a real store. This uh, Rick's Comic City is again, uh, oh, that's this is seven days a week. And except for Sundays, again, eight hours a day. Okay, so two stores, and you even see here that it had new comic books. So I would call both of these, quote, real comic book stores. So the article says that three comic book stores have opened or are about to open. Comic Cop in Nebraska, Jeans Comics and Toys in South Carolina, and Brown's Corner in West Virginia. So Comic Cop doesn't have its hours yet it just says it's always open i think it opens this weekend but if you look at this picture here it's an actual brick and mortar like literally brick and mortar store i couldn't find if they're going to have new comics but i get the feeling they are okay so two what i will call real comic book stores have closed one has opened but there's still two more right except for the other two one is at a flea market so it's only open Thursday through Sunday. If a comic book store is not open on Wednesday, the implication is that it is not getting new comics. Okay, so let's look at Brown's Corner. Again, not even open on Wednesday. These look like part-time hobbies with either retired people or people who have a full-time job doing something else. So we lost two comic book stores. We got one comic book store and then we got a stall at a flea market and whatever this is. And I think if I went through other of these articles, which always try to paint the picture of everything is fine, even while I'm getting emails on my phone saying that the layoffs at Comixology might be as high as 99%. Although I'm hearing other people saying 50 to 75%. This is just to give you some ammunition when someone says, oh yeah, well Bleeding Cool said more stores are opening than are closing. Not really. Not in a way that matters and not in a way that most people would consider to be a legitimate apples to apples comparison. So anyway, before I go, first kill graphic novel. If you want Will Jordan, The Critical Drinkers, A New Kind of War comic book, it's available as part of the Critical Drinker bundle, as part of the Hard Drinker 3 pack, or as an add-on for any of the other perk tiers. Thanks for watching. Bye.